Hey, how's it going, guys? The famous ghost bringing you a new zombie video. And today, me and my homies completed the Origins Easter egg. It's probably one of the hardest uh, Easter egg besides Moon to complete. We are in uh, theory mode because I cannot record it because it's very late at night. So we all, uh, yes, I am in theater mode. We all put our staffs in the robot. We got them back. And now all we have to do is push the button, and then after we push the button, uh, we have to let out the panzers, which I'll show you what happens. But you need to have the G-Strikes, which you have to go back to Gen 2, pick up a tablet at, um, it's next to the, um, door by the tank path. And then after that, you basically have to go to the church up by, at the SDG, put in the holy water, get melee kills with it, then take it all the way back to Gen 2 without stepping on mud and then all you got to do is gotta get more kills there g strikes boom then you have to go in the center roll that after everything is done you push that button and then the same person which is jared he puts the g strike that's on there right now and um, and it just gets uh, annihilated it, it's it's epic all while this was happening we were all well, he was freaking out he was like hey, my head. so yeah did that and then uh this is brace no, this is race. This is me. Uh, sorry, I don't want to have this out because that gets tends to get annoying. Oh yeah, we did it in two hours and fifty seconds, so it's pretty cool. So after that, we basically had to fight with the Panzers. So we had to wait for race to come back because he has some Maxis drone. So you put the Maxis drone over there, it flies over. It's two Panzers per player. So good thing you get your staffs back, otherwise we would have been dead. This was definitely one of the most stressful parts that I had to go through because. The, the ice staff is nice. It doesn't do as much damage to the Panzers upgraded, but that's what the hole looks like. And, uh, yeah, we just have to wait for race to come back. Put it on, put the uh, Max's drone back in. We may speed it up a bit. Because hopefully Black Ops 3 has theater mode in it. Just so that, uh, we can go faster. Alright, here we go. So basically. We're getting ready for the G-Strike. Now, the G-Strike is awesome. It's a bit difficult to get, but it's definitely worth it. And I'll speed up a little bit more. I just had to say that. Um, so I haven't been recording videos as much. Um, I just never had the energy because we were, like, up all night trying to do this. A couple nights in a row. Like, up to, like, three trying to do this, but we couldn't do it. But we can now. And I'm very happy. And it's definitely an exciting thing. Come on, get to the sheet. Alright, here we go. So basically, you need to have the Maxis drone. So whoever has it, done. And it's easier to do this like on one round. So one person grab the zombie, take it into the... This is another... This is awesome. He has to take it to the um, center so that it's nowhere near us so that we can actually kill it without getting damaged. Now... I managed to take this Easter egg on with just the upgraded ice staff, Juggernog, and an afterburner, which is a pack punched MP40. And now, granted, I we did get the iron punches, which takes your element staff, but we'll get into that when the scene comes. Now, we just wait for Austin to get in. All right, he's good, so he should be able to start it right about now. Come on. <laughs> That was terrible timing. I am so sorry. All right, yep, here we go. Now, basically, once you do this, you got to run because they will spawn straight in that spot. So once you see this, you can see them come up in the sky. Once they fly up, it's, it, it's, it's game time. See, there's one there. And if I said, there's two per every player. So we have eight. And see how easy we take these out. Watch. I don't know why I threw a monkey because I we had... We, we, we got we, we got this. Like, see, it's like, I just have to keep, keep looking behind me. It's like one of the, this is like the easiest part in the whole Easter egg. I thought it would be way harder, but we got lucky with that insta-kill drop and that maxed ammo. So we're all good. We only killed two, and there's two more, so that's four. Two, four, six, eight. So I thought there was two per every person, but, but I guess there's not. So that's what I heard personally, but I guess yours is really not. Um, I'm going to be commentating over this because, like I said, I couldn't instantly record this. 
So now what we have to do is we have to fill up the rest of the boxes, which should have been done already, but we honestly, our prior priorities were a bit whack, and um, we didn't know. But if you guys do let the guys take the power, the Easter egg will not work. You have to have all the mon. And I just think it's funny the fact that we defeat the Panzers, and then two more spawn in, and it, it was comical. I, I highly enjoyed it. But I died several times. I died, I went down nine times because of the stupidest reasons. Um, when we were upgrading our staff, Race wanted to have that fire. So basically what you have to do with fire to, uh, the first time is you have to get kills in the fire area. So that's one. So that's pretty hard for the other players because you kind of want to like... At the time I didn't have Jug, so I needed to save up for Jug and then everybody was flipping out at me like, dude, just like Race get his kills. So I was like... Excuse me, I need Jug. I'm saving up right now. So yeah, we, we all work together pretty well. And, um, sorry, I have a bit of burps. Um, hopefully you guys, um, will enjoy this. It's something I usually don't do, but I thought it would be pretty fun. Um, so we're just gonna work on getting our, uh, Thunder Punches, I think it's called. And then we're gonna work on getting our Iron Punches, and then going into the I'm going into Agartha or the crazy place. It's not Agartha yet, but it is the crazy place, and we have to work really hard. It, it's definitely one of the best nights of my life. Yeah, call me a nerd, whatever, you scrub. But um, it, it was a pretty fun experience, honestly. So if you haven't and you have good players, you have good friends that are good at, uh, uh, vocally, like like you're very good at like communicating and they're all good at communicating I highly recommend doing this because it is you need people who can you just need people who can uh, play zombies really well and everything and it's right there we get the thunder punches and now we have to all get the thunder punches now the favorite part about this game is is the staff I love the ice staff because it has the awesome four four knives on it which looks pretty beast and just the fact that um it, it, the, the upgrade as you see now it's just this big tornado of uh, snow it's pretty cool and um I, I just love this map there's so many good opportunities to do this I may do a solo run of just doing a challenge or just see how high I can go uh, that's later in the future though so Everybody, is it, the funny part is, everybody was like, dude, okay, you gotta start in part, just let's get out here. I was like, but I, I still need mine. So, I basically unleash my super, grab it, and uh, that's that. That's that step done. Granted, this took us till 2 o'clock in the morning, because we started at around 12, and we finished around 2. So, 2 hours, like I said, even says right there, 120, which equals 2 hours, 50 seconds. Now, Thunder Punches were still cool because it was still one shot. But now we have to go down into the excavation site, very bottom next to where you build staffs. And you have to just basically just, um, you'll see, but there, there's like white smoke around them. You just basically gotta punch them and then you're good. The white smoke comes off and you can shoot them or whatever. But before that, there, anybody, I, I know I'm going away in many directions, but I just, it, it's been a long day. So. There's there's these spots. Well, not spots. Um, well, yeah, there's three spots to get a free zombie blood. Uh, they're all the flaming carriages, as you can see right now. You just gotta hit them with the ice staff. Now, I couldn't do it at first. I did every single one, but I think it. But I think the reason it didn't work the first time is because Jared had to explain to everybody like what Austin had to do because he was Takio, and basically Takio has to shoot down this flame. But I told I told Jared before you don't have to be Takio. It could be anybody. But he said, just be safe, let's just be Takio. So, we were safe. So basically what Takio has to do, or anybody, so if, if you guys watching want to do this, anybody can look at the plane, you just need to be in the zombie blood. It basically looks like the fire plane in the sky that you have to shoot down, but a zombie falls out of it, apparently you shoot it, grab, th grab something, and that part is over. Um, so yeah, this took us a bit, because... Um, I, I couldn't get the zombie blood working because it took too long and like they wouldn't respawn. Well, of course they respawned, but I didn't think of doing it. So they had to run back all the way to Gen 1 to get the free zombie blood that nobody took, thank God. And once they took that zombie blood, we they they ran back here. Austin shot down the plane, but he ran out of zombie blood, so he really, really couldn't see it. 
and everybody else could hear like the zombie around them, but it like they couldn't see it because it's seen zombie blood. So um, I may just skip skip forward a bit, just get this video rolling. Um, once again, I tried to do it, it doesn't work, and um, so they have to go back to Gen One. So while we're waiting, let's uh, explain uh, like what's happening here. Sorry, my mic brushed up against my other mic. I'm wearing my Triton headset. Um, so basically what this is, is Samantha, if you haven't played this map, she is basically in Agartha and she wants to go home. So basically what you gotta do is you have to do all these tasks to get into Agartha, take her home, but you don't take her home. You just get a really cool cutscene, which I will add in the end of the video. Now, see, everybody right now is just like frequently trying to find the zombies. So I'm like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna go try the zombie blood thing again. Because honestly, it, it's not worth it just wasting a couple minutes uh, doing this. So I trained the zombie a bit. Very boring stuff. I'm sorry to, that you have to watch it. Excuse me. <laughs> um, but yeah, what well, was just happening? Uh, once again, I'm sorry. No videos for the past week. Haven't really been uh, that energetic lately. But uh, Austin spends points. We all get excited because we thought he got it, but he didn't. So then, I believe they want me to try to do the zombie blood thing again. So then, Grace has to come down and train the guy. I go up to the zombie blood again. Good thing that they just respawned. They come over. Zombie blood worked. Thank God. Jerry takes the zombie blood because it's going to go away. He shoots down the zombie. It's amazing. So he... He, he killed it. This epic music starts playing, which I honestly like, and my hapage froze, that's, that's nice. Hapage, why, why do you freeze? Up, up, oh no. Guys, there may be a couple pauses, oh Jesus. Oh jeez. This is why I need an Elgato, and this is, oh I'm way too close to the line, I'm so dearly sorry. Lose that jump cup and nothing happened. You all, You are all safe. But now we have to go down here, get the zombie, get the uh, uh, thunder, uh, the iron punches. So let's just skip forward a little bit because we really want to get this done. So you basically just have to stay down here and you can see the white zombies. Punch the mist off and um, you, you kill them. This was very hectic for us because we, there were so many of them. This was definitely like the scariest moment for me. Um, I'm just going to pause it there. Well, not really pause it, but um, just like let, let it roll out. So I think by now, I think Grace and Jared, somebody just got it because you can hear like the unlock sound. And once you get it, you can your screen goes white, the tablet's floating, and basically you you unlock the the power when you punch something. So if you have ice, you freeze them, insta kill. Um, if you uh, have fire burns them it's an insta kill so it's pretty cool so once again we're just gonna go forward until i get it uh oh, wait okay i thought i thought i saw it i got scared so obviously i use my staff um I, okay as you can see i just got it i'll just let it roll out i got it right here just about i need like one more zombie i think it, it, it's coming up, it's coming up. Um, I got it right around here, actually. Uh, all, right, all right, you can see it right there, right there. Once you collect it, you get a new one. When you punch somebody, it turns into your element. So that's pretty epic. And Samantha talks again. Epic music starts playing. All the fields were being had last night. And uh, now we just have to wait for Austin, I think, to get it. And then once Austin gets it, we just have to... And to Agartha. And, um, not, God, I keep saying Agartha. I'm sorry. It's the crazy place. Then you, uh, have to, uh, get rid of your, uh, staffs. So good thing you keep the, uh, Thunder Punch, Iron Punches. Sorry. You keep them. Uh, so that really helps you out. Um, so it was very exciting. It was kind of scary for us because, like, I thought we were definitely going to die because. With just our luck, one of our Xboxes would freeze or something like that. Just 
Oh no. But let's we'll skip forward a bit because we're all gonna head over to Wind, because that's when we're that's where we're gonna enter. Now, we have been playing this for a while now, so Jared had to go take a potty break. So let's just skip forward a bit. Wait till Jared's potty break is over. And then you know I'm like I have to take a potty break, so I take an MLGP, and I come back right about now actually because I'm going speeding through this video. I really hope Black Ops 3 has this so much. They need it. I right, and this is where we're gonna enter the crazy place. And um, once the cutscene uh, starts, I will shut up. I'll say my goodbyes to you, and that will be it. So. We, I just had to get the okay to jump through the portal, and uh, our final stand will be happening in just a couple seconds, because uh, we don't know what to do with zombie yet, so, wait, 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 I forget what's happening, hold on. So, I go down, alright, okay, yeah, yeah, we're all gonna get met up, we're all meeting up right here. Oh, wait, no, I think... No, they're all pack a punching because ground nineteen in uh, the crazy place, so much people. It's it's unbelievable. There's so many zombies. So I think we're gonna skip forward a bit. All right, everybody's here. The whole squad is here, as people could say, and we just jump in to the crazy place. This is where the final stance happens. All of us put our staffs in the port in the. Uh, Podium, not, not podium, but area, and we gotta get kills. It's like a lot of kills. It's like, it's like, I don't even know how many kills, but you gotta get kills. It's like a soul giant soul box right above your head. Um, I I I like to zoom up there. Probably I don't know why I'm over here. Oh, those big rocks really scare me. Uh, when they fall down, because I thought one of us would get uh, pinched. Anyways, right there, as you just saw, uh, that's where the souls go. That's where Gartha opens, and uh, you, you will see. So this final stance, right here, and uh, it was very exciting for us. It was so exciting. Um, I, I just realized this commentary will be a couple seconds back. So, yeah, I, I, I am so sorry about that. My pause worked up. I gotta get it fixed. I'm so sorry. I should. I. I'm gonna, probably gonna put something in the beginning. Um, but anyways, we're killing. We're getting some kills. I'm scared because I only have the MP40 and the and the iron punches, almost the thunder punches. I throw a monkey. Race yells at me. Oh, that's not worth it. But I was not taking any chances. So I just throw monkeys. Plus I had three, and plus like what else would we use it for? Cause like the game was gonna end. Now I know people like like to have uh, to like get out of Agartha after that opens. I mean crazy place. God, they like to get out of the crazy place and try to go for high rounds and just go back in there, enter Agartha, end game. But we were like, you know what? Let's not do that because it's very risky. And right here is where I almost go down. Like I said, it's a couple seconds back, so you might not see it until a couple seconds. I'm getting hit a lot. I'm almost down. I have to sprint away, throw a monkey, get yelled at again. But honestly, it, what else am I gonna do? Like, it, it, it's, it's like there's nothing else. Samantha's talking to us. Don't. I'm not paying attention because I'm just like I'm just trying to pay attention to my life here. And it, it, it's very hectic if you don't have. Oh, see, this is where I almost go down. I'm all red. I I. I don't want to die now, so you need one person, and here we are. That's what happens. Now, all you gotta do now, release the freaking Maxis, and it goes up into Agartha, as you can see right now. Bye, Maxis drone, and we we were all freaking out, and that's it. That is it. I love the music that plays. It's one of the best things ever. Is that it? Oh, that was very uh, depressing. I I thought that the um the cutscene would happen, but um 
I will add that in the end just for you guys. Because I know you guys probably want to see it. So hopefully you all enjoy. If you guys have make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to Pum Ghost. I just want you guys to know after I have at left the film, the outro played. So yeah, that's all I had to say. So here it is. Hopefully you all enjoyed. As the gates to Agartha opened, the four heroes were rewarded with riches beyond imagination. From that day forward, they knew that Samantha would keep them safe forever. You're getting everything wrong. I told you before that her eyes should be blue. It's my turn, Eddie. I can do whatever I want. But you don't even know how to play properly. Girls don't know enough about zombies. What's the choice of a shooter? Make sure the windows are locked before you come down to the basement. We'd better do what your dad says. I didn't even get my turn. Tomorrow, Eddie. You get to make the rules. I promise. Come on, Fluffy. I wish the heroes in our stories were real, Sam. I know what you mean. But we will make everything okay. My dad says he has a plan. 